Hello there people, this is Noah Mage. And this is a test. Mostly to check if the uh camera is fine, I guess. And if the audio is fine, and if Vegas will actually be able to open it. Yeah, because it's pointless if I record and uh I cannot open it, right? <laughs> Hello there people, this is Nobomage and welcome to a quick vlog to point out a few things mostly a few channel updates and some other stuff some things that are going to change with my channel but my channel is certainly not going down soon <laughs> that is uh, that, that much is guaranteed uh, okay so well I'm a little uh, how do you say this my voice is kinda screwed up right now so it might, my voice might sound a little bit low in this video, but yes, I'll try to enhance it as possible so that it's, it is kind of loud at least. Anyway, um, thing is that uh, there will be, uh, starting with this, uh, by the way, this very own episode is the f number one episode of what I'm going to call Talking with Nova Mage. So what is Talking with Nova Mage, you might ask. Uh, essentially, it's a series of vlogs where I will be talking, uh, talking about many things. Uh, most of them will be uh, gaming related in a sense, not necessarily Assassin's Creed though. Although for the most part, since I am an Assassin's Creed player then, uh, it follows that I will put examples or like take situations from uh, Assassin's Creed itself. But that doesn't necessarily mean it will be about Assassin's Creed. Now, something that I do have to say about these vlogs is that I will be covering some, like in some cases, it, I might be covering some either controversial or uh, deep topics that uh, if you're the kind of person who comes to my channel uniquely for, um, how should I say this, entertainment value, let's say, or for... Uh, like games, like watching me play or, I don't know, hearing me commentate, then this might be, I don't know, a whole new thing because it kind of departs from the established formula that I've been doing so far. Uh, but still, I feel like I want to do this because, uh, in essence, people don't know who Novomich is. Uh, like, Novomich is just another player and it is absolutely true in a sense. I am just another player, but at the same time, I am a person, and, um, well, I have I actually was talking today with a friend of mine about the duality of the real angel person, me, and Novomage, so, because, like, Novomage is just, it's not a person, and it's not me anymore, I mean, Novomage is an ideal, Nobomage, it's a projection of something I've tried to put out onto the inter onto the internet, meaning that, uh, say technically somebody else could, I like I could give my my account to someone else, and if that person could somehow continue the work of Nobomage, that person would be Nobomage because Nobomage is not a person anymore. Nobomage is an ideal. Even though, even though, of course, I am Nobomich. I mean, right now, I am Nobomich. But the thing is that it's what I'm trying to say. People don't know who I am, really. Uh, what they know of me, uh, they have found out through my videos. And in some cases, because they have interacted with me in person. I, well, not in person. I mean, through the internet, uh, like speaking. In some cases, they might have actually met me in person. But uh, yes, for the for the most part, that is not the case. Like all you guys know about me is from my videos. Now, thing is that uh, like I cannot just limit myself to talking about games because uh, well, precisely that is the problem. I mean, we have always been talking about games, and that is fine because this is a gaming channel, right? That is absolutely fine but I want to actually depart from that a bit because uh, the channel is Nobomage I mean it's the whole of Nobomage it's not just the gamer Nobomage and although 
obviously for the most part it will still be the gamer Nobu Mage. Now the thing is that Nobu Mage, in other words me now, let's just go back to uh, simplifying the duality of the real Nobu Mage and I mean me and Nobu Mage as the ideal. Now um, so the the thing is that um, like I want to cover these topics and uh, some things you know that I want to talk about them and I'm sure that I will offend people but as I've always said in my channel and this is actually something that I've tried from the start uh, everyone should free to say their opinion should be free to say their opinion me and you guys as well uh, that includes my comment section now uh, the, my comment section actually has been promoting since more or less the start maybe not since the start because I have to be honest and admit that I have actually matured in these last four years uh, many things have changed I am not the same person I was four years ago uh, and I to some extent I can say that even though I um, I was somewhat mature to some extent uh, I was also impulsive and I did some things that well uh, I didn't know how to express myself at times uh, nowadays it does still happen but let's let's be fair I mean things have changed I am different so like I think I recognize the fact that I am different um, and I, also my English is a lot better and that makes a lot of difference when it comes to communication because uh, like okay there are some people who they really say to themselves like okay like speaking English doesn't matter and that's okay, I mean, that's fine, everyone, again, again, everyone is fine to have their own opinion. But if you ask me, if you are in an environment where people are talking English, and this, um, also, I think personally that English is a common ground for many countries, and it's like, I speak with Russians, Australians, uh, Ameri Americans, meaning people from USA, North, North Americans, Canadians, uh... Puerto Ricans, uh, let's see, uh, what else, uh, well, there's like, uh, Poland, people from Poland, from Lithuania, from Egypt, Jesus, I mean, it's like, it's like ridiculous, uh, Japanese, Chinese, and there's a ton of other countries I'm not even remembering right now, I'm just kind of like remembering the main countries of my friends, uh, for example, Sergio, Balderon, and those people are from Spain, uh, there are a few others from Spain, I think, I don't know, actually, I think th they are the only two ones I know, uh, but maybe I've met some others which I don't even know they're from Spain because they speak English all the time. That is a problem. Like sometimes you don't know where someone, I where someone is from because they just speak English. I mean, English tends to be the common ground. It doesn't necessarily is the common ground, but it, it is usually the case on PlayStation Network and on many other communities as well. So... So yeah, like after I improved in English, uh, it really did make a change because uh, well, I, I was kind of good in English for starters, but I have to admit that I, ha I had an accent, and not only that, it's like my listening skills have improved vastly uh, since the start. I mean, obviously, there's some things you actually have to practice them. I, I never actually went to, uh, this is a funny story, uh, I never actually went to any institute or, how do I say, like, an academy for learning English. I actually, the way I learned was by playing video games. I have to blame Pokemon Yellow for helping me to learn English because uh, when I got Pokemon Yellow, uh, it was my first Game Boy Color game, and and uh, like it was a gift for my I don't know which birthday. That was years ago. That was like I don't know, maybe I was like 13, 14, or something like that. Uh, point is that I needed to translate the game to understand it so because back then it's not it wasn't like now that we have games in every language so yeah that's how I learned English I just like had my dictionary in hand I'm not even joking it's like dictionary in hand playing the game reading the text and I'm like okay what does fight mean is fight is like okay I translated to Spanish uh, but yeah I mean I always have like <laughs> but yes, uh, and that is the point. Like, uh, you don't necessarily... I, I, like, the ideal is that you go to an institute, but in my particular case, <laughs> I was so young when I started learning English. In, well, actually, I had to be younger than that. I wasn't even 13. I had to be like 6 or 7 or something like that. Let, let me think about it. 
Um, well, well, actually, I should Google. <laughs> I should do that sometime later because I'm not gonna interrupt the video for that. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember the release date for Pokemon Yellow. But I have to be like a kid. I mean, I, I, well, I the oldest I could have been is like 13, but I could have been even younger than that. So yeah. I'm 28 now, by the way, so yeah, in case you guys want to throw down some numbers. Uh, but yeah, you just go back to po check the Pokemon Yellow there and see how old is Pokemon Yellow. That's about the time that I learned English. Uh, well, that I started, at least. Obviously, over time, it was a process, and um, by watching movies in English, uh, movies with English audio and Spanish subtitles, and also English w um, movies with... Spanish audio and English subtitles were just kind of like the opposite. Um, that's how I learned English. I know it, it sounds pretty. Uh, it, it sounds pretty funny because I mean I wasn't even trying. I didn't even, like. Okay, I needed to learn English. That is the reason why I learned English, not because I actually like wanted to learn English. Uh, but at the same time, it wasn't indispensable for me to live. Uh, like I didn't need English for a living. I mean. Come on, I was a ch I was a kid, so it's like I just learned it because I wanted to learn it pretty much, um, and yeah, <laughs> and I was actually kind of annoying because uh, my sister, uh, like my sister, knew English. She actually went to an academy. My my mother was very worried about her future and such, and like because she, well, I don't know, well, she had the idea that uh, my sister would, in fact. In the future, that that is some foresight actually, because my live my sister lives in USA right now. Uh, but yeah, back then she actually thought she would need it, and well, she learned English in an academy. And I would ask my sister all the time, like, this is just, this is just, what does this word mean, or or stuff like that. You know, I would be annoying as hell as a kid. But yeah, yeah, after a while, I actually had to bring down the dictionary and you know start using the dictionary. But I have to I have to give thanks to my sister because she was really in many ways an inspiration for me and also uh like she helped me with the English and many things so it was uh, it was pretty funny overall but yes yeah, so, oh so yeah as I was saying my sister is a certified USA uh doctor like oh well she's a physician uh that's how you would say it and yeah like she is doing like her third specialty or something like that so yeah she's like she's done like internal medicine and she's done something else which i don't even know the name of and she's doing something else now she's doing like infectology i think is the name of it so yeah my sister is a fucking beast if you ask me like she does uh she does stuff and like just getting a uh, usa certification for for being a doctor when you're not from USA even though you do take the same tests as other USA residents it's just not the same I mean you do have to go through a lot not to mention the English I mean <laughs> she already knew English but still I mean it's not her, her first language so yes I mean I'm just speaking things here alright so this is precisely what we're talking right now this is precisely what talking with Nobo Mage will be, be about <laughs> BB <laughs> will be about. Uh, it's not just uh, me talking about necessarily games. I will talk about games because ga because games are my passion. It's it's logical. I mean, I created this channel because I wanted to talk to to show the world what I am capable of in a sense. Uh, to be fair, I was very arrogant when I started my YouTube. I did really think stuff like. Oh come on, these guys are just not so good. I can actually play better than them and show the people of the world. I did think these kind of things. Um, and maybe I'm actually better than a lot of people out there. That's probably true, but on the other hand, that is not necessarily my intent anymore. Actually, what I loved, uh, while I did start YouTube for a specific reason, uh, as I actually did YouTube, I realized many things that... Uh, I would have never known if I had never tried. Um, like, first of all, I did actually like YouTubing. This is the first thing I didn't even know. When I started YouTube, it was actually a matter of pride and other shit. Which I did realize later on, it was a lot different to that. I mean, that didn't end up being the reason why I do YouTube nowadays. Uh, in fact, I mean, even after the first year, it was a whole different thing. It took me a year 
to gather my first hundred subscribers and then during the next year I got like 200 more and then during the next year I got like 300 more and then during the next year I got like 600 more so if you can tell it's like um, an exponential thing because like 100 the first year, 200 the th next year then I had 300 and then I got another 300 and then the next year I got six more hundred because I already had six hundred right now I have like thirteen hundred but the reason why I didn't grow exponentially this year is because well I think I think it's because of two reasons the first reason is no new Assassin's Creed game came out one and second um, I was inactive for quite a while about nine months I had some issues in my own personal life which I just had to attend to and uh well I'm back so I'm here right but the point is yes uh I think and I intend to keep my channel growing but to do that I have to do some specific uh, specific things like and here are the changes about it well first of all there is talking with Nobomich which just starts now as I just said a few times uh, second of all, I'm going to start uploading more games. Previously I had tried this idea, but I had a different approach to it. I tried to start a second channel, but then the problem is those issues in my life, uh, they came up. Uh, and I had to not only stop both channels, but I also realized that like holding a second channel is a little difficult like it, it's uh, it's a pretty difficult task because if I start uploading into the other channel then the problem is that my main channel suffers from it from inactivity and that is just a problem so I think I'm just gonna straightforward say that I'm gonna be uploading the videos of other games to my main channel so my main channel is going to stop being an Assassin's Creed dedicated uh, channel now there's uh, something which I will keep doing in order to help people who only like Assassin's Creed I'll help them to keep track of Assassin's Creed uh, videos so for example when a when a video is post I well I usually post it to Twitter Facebook whatnot and YouTube itself it does uh, it does tell you when uh, when a video is uploaded now the problem with all these uh, things is that when this is done then uh, it posts every video I upload not just the Assassin's Creed ones so that's, that has an issue now I do have an offer for you guys for those of you who are mostly interested in following either talking with Novomage and the Assassin's Creed videos but not other games um, well, actually, I have to think about it because I, I have to consider the implications that it has. And the idea that I had is, well, first of all, I will keep uh, adding the videos to the playlist, to their corresponding playlist. And I will move it to the top. Like you, If you go to my channel, you will always see, the, the for example, the AC series uh, playlist at the top. At least the AC4 one will always be at the top. So so that that makes it easy for you like you can just go to my channel and just just quickly see if there's anything new on the AC4 playlist. Uh conversely something I was thinking about doing but I, as I said I might actually consider uh whether I'm going to do this or not is that for example for those of you who follow me on Twitter um I could like maybe uh only like publish to Twitter specifically the Assassin's Creed uh, videos but that will depend because uh, that would kind of kill the the other games you know the other games that I upload so obviously I do want to make all games grow not just AC anymore uh, so that's the thing and because uh, the problem is with uh, with having only one game there is a little problem first of all I just realized that as, uh, as Assassin's Creed multiplayer stopped my subscriber my base stopped as at the same time because precisely people are kind of leaving Assassin's Creed now I don't blame anyone for doing that obviously it is a choice uh, let me close this window uh, okay so but the problem is um, the thing is like yes why limit myself I can only I, I keep saying and I said this on Facebook actually a few days ago that I can only go as far as I can dream now, if I can only dream until where I am right now, then I have stopped dreaming. 
but that's the point. I don't want to stop dreaming. I want to go further. Uh, never stay in your in your comfort zone. It's something that I keep saying to people. Do not feel that even though you have achieved something, like uh, l l let me put an example. Let's say that uh, you are really good in politics. You are really good in art. You are really good in in many things. Let's say that you are good at, in basketball. That you are good as a family man. That you are a good father, a good husband. That you are good in many things. Uh, let's say that some t sometimes someone, some random person maybe on the internet tells you something that you might need to learn, like just an opinion of course, because uh, stuff that is said on the internet is opinions, I mean it is always opinions, and people often get insulted for no reason, because people are just trying to help them, and they just get insulted. Now for example, if somebody told you something like, I don't know, English is important in the world, for example, this is something I would say to anyone, uh, and you, you, like you feel that you have done all these things on your life. This is not really a valid reason. I think opinion of Nova Mage, not of someone else, or and certainly not a fact. Uh, certainly not a fact. What I'm going to say now. So if I tell you that you should learn English, because it is necessarily in the necessary in the world. Um, you don't really have to hold yourself into the fact that you have achieved so many things that you cannot even learn English. I mean, if you do give a valid reason such as uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I just don't have time or I am so busy or whatever, I mean, it is fine, I understand, we are humans, we have limitations, we don't have the time to learn everything that everyone on the internet wants us to learn, correct? But there is a problem. The problem comes when your reason for not learning is, oh no, I feel I have already learned too much. I mean, that is a mediocre attitude, I think. Other people might not agree with me, but this is just me. Again, I repeat, I think that is a mediocre attitude. And I would say it into anyone's face. As in fact, I did tell someone, and this plain example I just said is actually a real example. I did in fact tell someone this, and they told me exactly that. They replied to me as if, uh, well, uh, well, they did get insulted because technically I told them, uh, yo, uh, I mean, you should invest in your education and learn English because English is just important. And the person got offended because they felt that I heard, I heard their pride and well they got insulted pre pretty much and this I kinda understand what I don't like is the reason that they gave forward in order to defend their argument in order to defend their argument they said that they felt like they had already learned a lot of things and that they could defeat me in any of those areas this is not a competition I don't give a rat's ass what you already know I mean I'm just telling you we are in an English based community in f what I don't I'm not even gonna say which community uh, uh, and everyone here speaks English I mean I'm just telling you to learn English like everyone else now if you wanna stay in your cave not knowing English and as somebody else said being uh, handicapped compared to everyone else who does is in, who does in fact speak English that is fine imagine this he can come to my video and tell me, look, he's talking about you. That example he's putting, he's talking about you. But he won't even know that because he doesn't understand me. He doesn't understand English. Now, he might be able to pick up a, a word and um, whatnot, but he's definitely not going to pick everything I'm saying at the speed that I'm saying it. In fact, I'm actually even trying to speak even faster right now because I w don't want him to understand everything precisely. But that is the point. That shouldn't be the case. I mean, he should be able to understand. Now, that is exactly what I'm trying to say here. I mean, uh, there is no reason, and going back to the original topic, there is absolutely no reason for yourself to, uh, like, limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. Why? Why limit yourself? It's like... I don't get it. And the second thing is like, if you do have a dream, because I, as I said before, you should dream. Now, if you do have a dream, why would you wait another day and another day and another day until time goes away and then when you're old you're like, oh shit, my dream, I didn't, I didn't even try my dream because succeeding is one thing. 
not everyone in this life will succeed. We have to know that. I mean, just life is, it just doesn't work that way. Just because you work ha hard for it doesn't mean you'll get it. You have to be good when it comes to accepting failure. Failure is a lot harder to handle than success. Success is easy. Well, I won't say easy. In some cases, it is actually slightly hard. But it is easier to handle, that's for sure. I mean, we all know that. I mean, I don't really have to explain that. But yes, uh, anyway, this is a 25 minute video right now, but I still have uh, maybe like one last thing to say before I end. Uh, it's, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to be quick about it, I guess. Um, well, there will be a lot of topics I will be covering, um, although I will mostly try to abo uh, avoid heavily controversial topics like religion and stuff like that. I mean, <laughs> no, please, no, please. Uh, but yes, I w will in fact cover some controversial topics uh, such as females in the video game industry, um, my thoughts on competitive gaming, uh, what else? Um, there's a lot, I just um, I just really don't have all, all the ideas organized right now. But yeah, you will be seeing some of, th of that in Talking with Nobumich. And there will be live comms of new games, of course. Uh, not all games, because not all games uh, are easy to live commentate. For example, one of the games I will be playing and that I am currently playing is Ultra Street Fighter 4. And I'm also playing like... Uh, I will play uh, Street Fighter 5 once it comes out. But the thing is, for example, in a game like Street Fighter 4, I could make a post com every now and then. But making a live com for Street Fighter is not easy at all, because... I mean, maybe if I'm playing online, I could, because my opponent is not listening to me. But if it's someone offline playing with me, as I will be often playing with my brothers, uh, with, with my brother and my cousins, or in PlayStation All-Stars, for example, Battle Royale, I will be playing offline with my cousins, and it will be very rare that I'll have the chance to actually record our voices. Or even if I could, like it doesn't make sense to me for me to be commentating in front of them. It's hard. It's illogical because they they'll know what I'm going to do, and that is, you know, that is a bit of a limitation when it comes to playing offline offline games. However, if I do manage, in fact, to somehow just put a mic somewhere, like a condenser mic, like the Blue Snowball or something like that, I could put so it is somewhere in front of us and possibly even turn up the turn on the webcam so that like I can I will have to put it in some specific angle that like all the players could could be seen uh like their faces like from the front uh and that would be like really cool because imagine uh face cam where all the players involved are in the in the face cam that would be really cool now uh not only that uh, I also oh, I also have a few new ideas that you will be discovering as they go on such as integrating into like it talking with Nobumich is not just going to be me talking I'm going to introduce like media into it like uh movie quotes uh music uh other things you know all in kind of humorous and it's going to be fair use so that's going to allow me to use a lot of copyrighted material uh, just by u doing fair use of it, like for entertainment purposes, you know that's gonna be great. I I'm gonna be able to use copyrighted music, or I mean, I I if it does in fact apply a comedic effect, it because that's a problem with music. Like you cannot just put a segment of music here or use it as background music, because that's just not permitted. But I could in, in fact uh, like make a joke about something, and then suddenly something uh, like the music from Celine Dion comes and. <laughs> or something like that. I mean, like we'll always love you. Or some, uh, uh, you know, you're getting me. You're getting me. You're getting, you're getting the point. I could even do it right now. Like, yeah, there, I did it. I, I, I just, I just put a segment there where she came on. So that is the point. That, that is the point. Like I could do stuff like that. Um, but, 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 yes. Uh, the thing is, like, you'll, you'll be discovering this, these things as they go on. Now, finally, uh, what should I say? Uh, yeah, I should mention the games, I guess, because uh, there's going to be a lot of games. I will actually make a new channel trailer for my channel uh, using all the games. And, uh, well, actually, precisely, I'm going to do sort of a talking with Nobomage called Who is Nobomage? Like, I'll do that at some point. And when I do that, uh, I will... Besides talking about the games that the channel is going to have, I'm going to talk a bit about myself, and in a sense, that is going to be the channel trailer. 
uh, which we'll see soon, but I don't know where. Because uh, honestly, guys, uh, I am very busy. I have a very active project right now, like uh, which I have to heavily develop. I am a software developer and I am a web developer in that sense. I do websites. I do web pages. I do in fact have a very interesting project in that regard for Assassin's Creed, but I will reveal that when that is ready. Uh, yeah, right now it's just in the early development phase and you'll see that when, when that comes out. But I, actually, in fact, I don't think it will be only for Assassin's Creed, it will be for all my games. But you will see, you will see once that comes out, more on that later. And let me see, let me see. Am I forgetting something? I think not. I think that is more. Ah, well, the games, the games. Okay, so the games I will be covering in my channel is um, most. Well, there will be a few PS3 games like All Stars Battle Royale, um, Uncharted 3, uh, Final Fantasy X, the Remaster HD. Although Final Fantasy X, honestly, I don't think I'll have the time now. It's just, I mean, completing single player story is just. It's very time consuming. Uh, while well, live commentating as well, so I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. I will, in fact, play Watch Dogs, the multiplayer component of it. I will upload a few videos of Watch Dogs, um, Assassin's Creed, obviously. Uh, maybe they will make cry at some point because it's another single player, so yes, it has the same issues. They will make cry 3. I love it, it's my f one of my favorite games. In fact, the Nobomich colors, like they come from there, they come from Dante. Dante is, is like red, signature color of Dante is red. My favorite color is red as well, but mostly, and, and then black, like black and red are my favorite colors, so that's kind of why the Nobomich logo has that. But, but yes, like it's mo mostly Dante's fault. And yeah, the whole uh, compete with style and you know all that is is from Dante basically. So yeah, and he's in my channel banner. He is the first image in my channel banner, so it's not really a surprise, I guess. Anyway, this is already a 31, 16 minute video, or something like that. Uh, so I thank you guys for listening to me. And uh, by the way, the most talking with Nobomich are probably gonna be shorter than this. This is just because it is the first one. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked, please remember to hit the like button. And yes, I want to point out something about that. In fact, <laughs> I'm never done. I'm sorry. Uh, I always say, and this is something I've said so many times, that it's like, <laughs> it's like memorized. When I say, if you liked, remember to hit the like button. Notice the if part of it, right? I am the, car the kind of person who thinks that I am a YouTuber, right? But just because I'm a YouTuber, I shouldn't really, uh, like, kind of force. It's, it's not really force because in the end you're the one who hits the like button or not. But I don't feel to push people into pushing the like button like if it was, uh, I don't know, how to say this? I know it's a way of promoting the channel, but that's not what I want to say. It's like... I just really want you to hit the like button when you actually like the video because I use the like uh, the like button as a feedback for myself uh, and the dislike button as well. I mean, I, I don't I don't get insulted when somebody dislikes one of my videos. I mean, I actually think this is perfectly normal because people don't have to like everything you do. They should actually dislike when they did when they do dislike something. If you don't agree with something I say, you should totally dislike the video. I mean, that is the whole point of having that button there. <laughs> that is the whole point. Now, what I say is, well, you do have like three possible choices basically. You can actually like the video if you did in fact like the video. Like if you just uh, moderately enjoy it but it wasn't really the big deal but you didn't actually like it. Like it was okay because I didn't have anything else to do with my time. You don't actually have to re hit the like button. Like you could, you could if you do want to support me or anything like that. I mean that is totally fine. Uh, like yes please do if you feel like it. But that is precisely the point. Don't do it because I am telling you to do so, because I will never tell you to do so. I mean, I will never really... That just simply goes against my principles. I see other YouTubers that do this and I seriously don't like it. It's like, 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 hit the like button, hit the like button. I mean, okay, I get it, dude, I get it. I know you want me to hit the like button, but and I, there's people, new people arriving at every channel every damn day. But please, 
I mean, I think most people by now realize the fact that they will support you if they do hit the like button. This is not a surprise by now. Now, in case it is a surprise, that is precisely why I say, if you liked, please, please, please hit the like button. If you did like it, I don't really have to say that if you didn't like it, please, then please hit the dislike button because I think that, yeah, I mean, in a sense, it would be you. You'd say it is counter. Uh, like counter promotion to my channel but people are totally wrong in this sense because on YouTube if you do get a ton of dislikes your video actually gets more views I mean like it does even on the search rankings on YouTube it does uh, it does appear first like uh, like if your video has 3 million dislikes like Rebecca Black's Friday song when it came out <laughs> that was the most disliked video on YouTube at the time and it had like 4 million dislikes and only like 500,000 likes yeah 500,000 is significant as, a, as an amount of likes my videos have never gotten anything even remotely close to that now let's be real 4 million dislikes it's a lot of dislikes and a lot of views so and also it's like it motivated people to see the video because it had a lot of dislikes people wanted to see what was wrong about it and I don't know if you guys know this but YouTube is in this for money they're for money so if they put an ad in a, vi in a video that has 4 million dislikes and who knows how many views I don't even know how many views it had imagine the revenue Imagine the revenue this video gets. That is ridiculous. So this is the kind of thing that I tell people. It's like, I don't really give a damn if you guys dislike me. Well, I actually do. I actually do in the sense that I know that I might be doing something wrong. Obviously, I do evaluate the feedback. I don't really believe because a few people dislike the video that the video was necessarily bad. I always consider the radio. For example, if I get like a thousand likes and three dislikes, this means it was a good video it wasn't a bad video it was a great video and I should keep doing videos like that because I'm sorry to say this but even though the opinion of the minority does count in fact um, in the end you do have to pay attention to the opinion of the majority um, and as I say I always do like please commentate if you feel like commenting on the comment section comment because uh, I will reply it doesn't matter what your point of view is even if you go against the majority I will never I will never depreciate anyone's opinion unless unless this person expresses themselves like an animal if that is the case and do we, we we will actually have issues I might even in fact ban you from my channel because that is not what we're here for I do not promote negative attitudes when somebody uh, comes and says a point of view I don't care if it goes against my own point of view provided they do not violate certain rules like insulting myself or other users I mean it's fine for example this is a common example ACB is usually regarded by many players as the best ACB game it's okay for you to come and say ACB is the best game in my opinion or even even without the in my opinion part it is okay because we can assume it is your opinion the problem is when you don't assume it is your opinion when you think it is a fact and that other people come and tell oh, okay no I think it is AC4 that AC4 is the best game and then this person comes back and says oh no AC4 is shit and this and this even though that is also an opinion it's like the way you word it matters how you say things matters people do not get this into their brains and this is the reason why YouTube in many cases is such a, a, a bad community because people think that they can say anything on the internet and simply get away with it that's just not how it works I mean in my channel at least you can go whatever you guys want outside there where other people will allow you animals those of you who are animals will allow you to do your animalities <laughs> animality. like in Mortal Kombat or something like that yes please L like go go and do it I mean I don't give I don't, uh, but not here I'm sorry not in my channel Like you can do whatever you want I don't give a shit about losing your views or losing your likes that is not the reason why I do YouTube I don't do YouTube to get anyone's approval I'm afraid I do this because I have a job and I do my job for survival but I do YouTube because 
I like YouTube and I want to, in a sense, create a different type of community in YouTube. Not only that, but I also like having my opinion heard. I like that as well. Obviously, I mean, who doesn't like having a medium where thousands of people are listening to them? That is just logical. Now, this doesn't change the fact that I am a simple human. I don't think I am above anyone else or anyone else's opinion or ideas. I will maybe at some point bring out the inner caveman, as I like to say. Sometimes people piss you off and, well, you can't control yourself. You're an emotional being and at some points you might just flip out. But in general this is not me in general i try to control myself i try to have let everyone have their opinion as long as they express it in a respectful way and that's just my channel that is what my channel is all about about respect respect is key respect is the most important thing but that's enough it's 40 minutes now jesus christ uh as always if you liked please hit the like button subscribe if you want more and I will see you next time. See ya.